Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Carolyn here from Never Perfect Resin. Exciting things happening today, y'all. Exciting things, light, wish, colored, UV resin, the high translucent eight color set things are happening today. I am super stoked to try these out. Lightwish was kind enough to send me this eight piece set. First of all, I'm super thrilled about how much resin that I'm getting. I'm getting 50 mLs for each color, which is going to be plenty to work with, create with, all of that fun stuff. I have a really fun idea of what I want to make with these today. I have two really cute molds that also they're clear, so they're going to work perfect with UV resin. But I, this heart mold is pretty new, and I've had this little pendant mold forever. And they were happened to be sitting next to each other, and I was thinking, oh my goodness gracious, let's make some pendants with little hearts in the center. So looking at these two molds together, the larger pendants fit the third row down of hearts really, really well. But I kind of wanted to go smaller and even though those were they would be super super cute but I, I wanted to go a little bit smaller so the middle pendants and even the tinier pendants fit the last row of hearts perfectly so i i mean look at that hello it's so cute so i figured i'd make a few of the medium size and a few of the little tiny pendants and i'm going to do all tiny hearts so I'm going to start with the pink and I'm kind of just winging it with what colors are going to go with what. And before I even get started, I did try something. I did, I sacrificed a little bit of this resin, but I was hoping it was going to work. But this here, you guys, I filled the pendants up pretty much all the way and they did not cure properly. Now, UV resin the uv lights i should say when you're curing it it doesn't like to cure thick amounts of resin these pendants i was taking a chance because i wasn't sure i measured them they're four millimeters deep and i did have to do two layers of resin so two millimeters of resin deep was the magic number for me so keep that in mind if you're going to make a project like this this uv resin in particular all uv resins i know they're different but this one for me the magic number was don't go more than two millimeters deep with your pour so that being said <laughs> this is me doing this again doing the pink again look at this gorgeous color but this is the first layer and just making sure it's spread evenly and i go ahead and cure this first layer and then this you see is the second layer of resin i am using a torch to very lightly pop these bubbles as best that i can now going in with this aqua blue i know you just saw it earlier with my little resin fail with my never perfect resin <laughs> but yeah going in with this aqua blue the cap I, I don't know if you guys saw that, but the resin was coming out a little wonky. I, I just took a straight pin, scraped it around inside that little uh, topper, and it it fixed it. So good to go. Um, there was I think there was just a little piece of plastic blocking it. So got my first layer done, cured. Then I go in with my second layer, spread that out, pop any bubbles. I did mostly prefer using the heat gun i will say everyone's different but for this project me and the lighter for whatever reason weren't getting along and i just felt safer using the heat gun so <laughs> but anyhow so these two pendants looking amazing also i realized hello you could not see the actual like beautifulness of this blue with my blue background. So I switched to a white background. So there we go. <laughs> and I am just kind of giving you, a, I wanna show you the light that I'm using. You know, just my little UV lamp that I'm using. I think I originally got it for nail art, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, so now we're getting into that little heart. So I'm gonna use the dark blue 
and I'm going to use the deep red. And we're going to zoom in on these little guys and get them going. And I mean, oh my gosh, already this blue. What? I, I mean, whoop. Flabbergasted by the blue. I love it so much. It is awesome. And then this deep red, I mean, that is red. That is red diddly ed. All right. And yeah, I just said that. I'm sorry, but I did. <laughs> so putting those under the lamp, we're going to let those guys cure and then we're going to get onto the rest of the colors, which will be for the pendants and this is going to be the orange red going in and i'm going to do one of the itty bitty pendants so again like i said i'm doing only two layers here two layers so this is my first layer of the orange red going down i'm going to let this cure oh and also while i'm at it <laughs> i'm gonna go in because i want to do two little tiny pendant. So I'm going in with the yellow first layer. So that's down. So putting both of these under the UV lamp for a good minute or two, and then going in with the second layer for both, which you are seeing right here. This is the second layer of yellow. And I'm just making sure that it's nice and evenly dispersed switching it around so you can see this orange red and doing the same thing really just kind of trying to make sure like you know it's got that little hole for the the pendant so i'm trying to make sure the resin is in there and all that good stuff and then going in with the green and some of the of these adorable little hearts i want to make these hearts in every single color because Oh my goodness, I, I am just loving it so much. This green is beautiful, nice and bright, and absolutely loving it. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Love the green. What do you guys think? What's your favorite color so far? I'm loving all of them, so <laughs> I can't choose yet. So uh, sky blue is, last but not least, going in with this color. Again, beautiful, 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 beautiful. And before we even go on, I wanted to try something. I am just taking a little bit of clear UV resin and I'm just coloring it white. And I didn't want to use alcohol ink. I wanted to make sure that the resin cured properly. So I'm using some white mica powder to color it. And I had just put a couple drops of the pink, the sky blue and the green into one of these tiny hearts. And I'm just giving it this a little white background. This part was just for fun, but I loved the effect so much. I did it times two because I think they will make really cute stud earrings. So that was just my little extra thing that I did. But at this point, all of our little pieces have been created, they're made. So now I just have to kind of put everything together. So these are the colors, you guys, of these Light Wish colored UV resins. Look how gorgeous. Which color is your favorite? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments down below. I can't get over how bright this pink is. I also really love the green. Cool thing about the these Light Wish resins is that I do have a discount code for anybody that is in the US if you are buying off of Amazon. Am Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> if you're buying off Amazon, you can get 15% off if you use my code. I will put it in the bottom right corner here for you guys and it's going to be carolyn05 and that'll be for 15% off if you're in the US. This 15% discount code will be good from today, June 24th through June 30th. And for anyone that is in the UK, if you are buying in the UK, you guys are getting a flash sale 
uh, off Amazon with this particular set for 20% off. That's going down. That's going on through July 2nd. So lots of really cool little deals going on with Light Wish, this particular set of colored high translucent resins. So thank you so much, Light Wish, for partnering up with me for this particular video. I am in love with these resins. I am going to be getting so much use out of these and definitely looking forward to using them in more projects in the future. So true to form, of course, somehow you did not see me attaching these little hearts to the pendants. So gotta love it. <laughs> but basically what I did, I just used a little bit of that extra clear UV resin that I had. I used it as glue, attached each heart to the pendants where I wanted them, cured them, and now we are good to go. I also decided I was going to make a couple little cute necklaces with some of the pendants. I had this blue like plastic chain charm necklace situation and that was perfect for the pink pendant with the blue heart so i love that one and then i made a little cute like plastic pink necklace with that yellow and green pendant so what do you guys think i am in love with this resin i just oh absolutely floored uh the colors are so saturated and gorgeous and beautiful uh light wish you've outdone yourself so nothing but impressed with this one you guys thank you so much for watching please if you like this video give it a thumbs up please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so uh, if you feel like giving me a super thanks that is also an option and you guys until the next one i will see you soon and bye for now